Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Hmm, what opening to play today? Oh, I mentioned having to research. Good luck. I mentioned having to research an opening. Uh, I've not done that research yet. So this could get pretty rough. But yeah, from last week's teaching ladder, I still haven't made time to study... Oh, what was it? Oh, the double third file rook. I don't know things about that move order. That would be nice to know. Hang on. Are they putting the king over here? They're maybe putting the king over there. All right, let's do the same thing they do. Fine, you put your king there, I'll put my king here. They build high Mino. It's a reasonable shape. Um, we'll build bald Mino. Oh my goodness, really? Okay then. Oh, I see. Interesting. This is how you build this fortress. I now know about this transposition. Would have been nice to know about that earlier. Um, hmm. Well then. Stick the bishop here. Try not to do anything too stupid. I mean, for me, that's quite an ask. Just, I really like to do stupid things. Um, so they've already defended this point very heavily. Should we try this avenue of attack? Also, no, that seems risky. Uh, let's bring this up. Their pieces haven't coordinated yet. Let's try this. They built a very strong castle here. But the rest of their pieces haven't lined up in a way that makes sense with this castle. Uh, take one of those. Thanks for the game. Well, that was fun. Let's do two more of that. Um, I guess I surprised them. They, they surprised me, too. Good luck. All right, you know, I haven't done the research on this, but what happens if I play it? All right, now we know. That's what happens if I play it. Mm -hmm. I promise I'm not going to be a total jerk and mirror every move. Um, but we do need to mirror some things for this to have any chance of success. I just dropped a pawn. They just didn't take my dropped pawn. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Maybe this? I'm not totally sure. <laughs> hey, look! 
it's another opponent building the fortress shape. Um, damn. Well, let's say no to that, but also you. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, I control the edge, so I welcome that exchange, but still. Um, yeah, this is kind of a mess. Maybe I threaten to exchange bishops, although my king is still in the center of the board, and I'm not at all comfortable with that idea. Um, yeah, this finally strikes. Um, hmm. What's the right way to meet this? I think this is okay. If not, we'll find out in just a hot second, but... Yeah, so I got away with that, and we'll put the pawn up one more. And... I don't know what castle I'm building here. Um, but that's kind of a castle, right? Okay, they blocked the diagonal, so I can't threaten that exchange immediately. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is interesting. If I push this, they take... If I, oh, I don't want to bring the knight out. I do and I don't. Um, hmm. We're taking the extremely long road to building a castle. There we go. Kings in the castle. Oh, they offer this exchange. I did not foresee that either. Why would they do that? I don't know. You got me. I'm not sure what either of us is doing. If the plan was to vacate the diagonal, mission accomplished, but was that really the plan? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That looks threatening, but it actually doesn't do anything more than what they were already doing. Um, so to me it looks like they're waiting for me to blunder. That said, I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> how do I prevent myself from blundering? I don't know. Nanafun. I guess I'll try to use the silver. <clears throat> I've been delaying using it because... oh. Okay, well that's kind of cool. And very much unexpected... well, okay. Now I get it. Now I see the error of my ways. Alright, so... They're gonna drop a pawn here. This did not... oh, they didn't drop a pawn here. That's even more aggressive than what I expected. Um, let's see. That's pretty cool.
All right. Go ahead. Is that all? Gosh. I expected something. Well, this could be bad. Um, I thought this could be so much worse than it looks right now. This castle is weak from the side, and I am exchanging my rook for a bishop. So this is dangerous. I am playing with fire. But I often play with fire. Fire is fun to play with. The risk here is that I might not beat a two-down opponent. The reward is that, you know, I might win this thing. So... Given those odds, I think it makes sense to take chances. Roll the dice, see what happens, and get us both out of our comfort zone. Hmm. I thought I had a tactic. I do have a tactic. Here we go. Move three, four, five. Okay, they didn't defend this. If they defended it, I'd have a silver drop to continue with the attack. Instead, this is just a fork. So this is move seven of the combination. And this is where I said, you know what, this looks interesting. Let's do it. This is how far I got in my calculation. I didn't get as far as move 8 here, nor did I see move 9 winning the bishop. Um, so we're on move 11 of this combination of lots of forcing moves. Again, the only way they have to escape this fork is to drop a rook, otherwise they're just forked. And it's okay to get forked. Being forked is not the end of the universe. Um, we'll take that. Oh, that's a dragon. <laughs> ah, speaking of tactics, all right, fine. I didn't see that I was giving them a bishop for a gold. Uh, I thought I was going to win the dragon afterward. Cocky me. Can't remember how the pieces move. But can still believe in myself. Not sure if that matters. Um... Yeah, this looks fun. Let's do it. I don't want them invading on this file. They want to invade on the file immediately. I want to just kick around this dragon a bit and see what happens. Hmm. A gold drop. Why? Was my threat that important? I was hoping it might be, but I didn't really think that it would be. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. 
so they get my lance. Tampoon. Oh, this horse and this knight and all that really collaborate well. I'm impressed. So... It's kind of a hot mess, but I need to do something. If they drop a lance, I might sack here. Oh, okay. Well, I say don't run from a fork, but, you know, this looks kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Screw it. Let's do this. Super dangerous. I can't get away with moves like this forever. They'll probably take. I take back, they move the horse here. And then I have to block the horse. Oh, or this happens. Um. Keep fighting toward the king. Right. Keep throwing the bones. Just keep gambling enough, maybe it'll pay off eventually. Throw the bones and see where they end up. See where they lie. So I'm threatening to push this and break that, and it's super slow and kind of hopeless. Uh, their attack lands immediately, and I don't know what to do. Um, let's try that. This makes the silver the next target. Um, okay, they're right, I can't use a knight to defend this square. They have lots of generals. Interesting. 1分30秒. Um, hmm. Hate doing that, but I don't have much of a choice here. Hmm? That horse is doing a great job defending and attacking, so I need to remove it. Maybe pushing this pawn was better. Maybe dropping a rook, although extremely dangerous, might have been better. Also, I have no time. Why am I doing talking?
30秒20秒。10秒。時間切れ yeah. I could have taken the night. I missed my chance. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. I wasn't expecting a night drop, I was expecting a silver drop. Oh well. Good luck. Alright, here goes my spaceship. The silver just goes chomp, chomp, chomp in a straight line. Unless I'm missing something. Um, could be missing something. Maybe it was so safer to drop the rook back. 
Oh. This doesn't do anything. Um... All right, all right, here goes my spaceship. Oh, they blocked it. Does that actually work? How does that work? Every shape has a weakness. Every shape has a strength. Every shape has a weakness. The knight's head is a weakness. I came up with the name Spaceship for this because I've heard on the other side of the board there's a shape called UFO Silver. I don't know anything about it, but you have like the rook back there and the silver in front and it just like goes out in some weird way that I have yet to study. But I'm calling this a spaceship because like it just launches straight up and it just chomps everything in its path. So... I've done this before, and this may be the third or fourth game where I've had the opportunity to just have this sort of one-sided attack. Um, so the opponent's doing their best to react to this reasonably, but it's very difficult to react to this, I think. Um, How am I supposed to react to that, though, since they have multiple pawns, and I don't want to give up Tempe? Like, in general, when somebody does this, you have to take it. Uh, I don't see why this would be an exception to that general principle, but... Like, whenever I take something, that makes the rest of my shape weak. Um, but yeah, losing the pawn and the tempo doesn't seem like a good move, so we're going to give one or the other. Now I could take the silver. Um, they would get another lance. And I am very spooked by this. But I don't need that silver general. It's actually in their way. So I'm just going to take this. Um, I guess they'll defend the silver. Oh, I missed that. Again, I could just take this, or I could drop a pawn in front and see what they do. Mm -hmm. So I've given a pawn and a lance to gain a lance and a silver. So I've essentially given a pawn to get a silver. My knight still defends the king's head. My king still defends the knight's head. Or defends the king's square, rather. So once they check me and I run away, I still have some way of rebuilding this. Um, every shape has a weakness. This shape actually... It's got to have some weakness somewhere. Uh, yeah, so they're seeking to use the knight. Um, hmm.
They're also wanting to use the rook over here and surprise me with the check. That only works if they have the element of surprise. Otherwise, I'm just not surprised by that. Um... Oh, if I drop something in front of the pawn, they could take drop a pawn to take the thing I drop in front. Um, you know, I think a silver is the right price to give back. Thanks for the game. Yeah, if the king starts running, I get my rook involved on the left side. And that looks pretty interesting to me. I didn't read that out to mate, but that looks really interesting. So, that was quick. Uh, very exciting. Very spirited games, all three. Hopefully we'll study them a bit more and learn from them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.